Hello, my name is Paul Hartley. I am the Rehabilitation Lead, Vision Impairment and Technology based at the Brighton Centre. In 20, the beginning of 2020, I, uh, my role changed slightly. I was actually the Rovi lead and moved into supporting our technology team as well. So we came together as one multidisciplinary team. Um, and in March, obviously, of 2020, we, uh, we went into a pandemic. And uh, uh, that's been a really difficult time. But one of the things that's been an opportunity for us to do is to actually really extend the work that we do together, collectively supporting our members, providing a remote service so uh, I've been actively involved in developing parts of the remote service um, promoting that and encouraging us to deliver that sort of training uh, with our members and that's really something that's been uh, really exciting over the last um, few months um, through some really difficult times. I've actually worked now for Blind Missions UK for 20 years prior to that um, I worked for some time for British Telecom um, I, living with sight loss myself, um, I had to really think about what I wanted to do with my, my future. So um, just prior to coming into Blind Veterans, I uh, did a training course and trained as a, a, a therapist. So I trained as a, psych as a psychodynamic therapist, um, got my postgraduate qualification and then went on to train to be a rehabilitation officer. And uh, for my work placement, I came to Blind Veterans UK and have stayed there ever since. This year is the 20th year that I've worked for um, Blind Veterans UK, formerly St Dunstan's. And uh, I think that one of the things that's really, um, I don't know, uh, inspired me through the work of, of those 20 years is working with a group of people who uh, have a sense of uh, family, camaraderie, um, it's incredible resilience. Um, and I think those things that are things that are really come out for people who've served, but they also really, provide great foundations for uh, people adjusting to living with uh, new and difficult and challenging situations such as sight loss. I've been thinking about what projects I've been working on that I've been you know, most proud of through this sort of period of time and I think one, not really a project but a piece of work is actually um, as part of developing our, our remote rehabilitation service. One of the things we did was we set up um, or help set up clinics and these clinics are bringing together practitioners to support them when they're working remotely uh, so there's a sense of sort of collective um, group work uh, but they're places where people can come and ask questions places where people can come and share ideas and really for the last I guess eight months or so we're running those um, almost um, every other week um, for the last eight months uh, and they've been really challenging, really exciting, really good places to work and really good places for people to come and develop and grow. So I think the clinics has been a, a, a kind of a project that's that's really, really grown out of this that I'm really proud of. Thinking about how I would like to develop my work in the future, I, you know, I've been a rehabilitation officer for for uh, 20 years and I've managed a team for, for four of those, those years. And in the last year, I've actually brought uh, uh, a couple of teams together with uh, different skill sets. One of the things that's been really, really fantastic is looking at how we can blend um, our skills so actually people can actually use their skills to bring up other members of the team. So for example, our tech practitioners can share some skills with our rehabilitation officers and vice versa. And collectively we can work together to uh, provide uh, the best opportunity for learning and growth. So I think developing forward is really about, about working with collaboration and, and creating a space where um, people have the best opportunities to have equity of experience of life.